क्वेश्चन इज गिवन एक्स क्यूब माइनस वाई क्यूब इज इक्वल टू एक्स वाई प्लस सिक्सटी वन वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट द वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स एंड वाई हेयर हाउ वी कैन फाइंड आउट वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स एंड वाई लेट्स सी सोल्यूशन एक्स क्यूब माइनस वाई क्यूब इज इक्वल टू एक्स वाई प्लस सिक्सटी वन दिस इज गिवन दिस इज एक्स क्यूब माइनस वाई क्यूब सो फॉर्मूला ऑफ ए क्यूब माइनस बी क्यूब इज इक्वल टू ए माइनस बी राइट ए माइनस बी ए स्क्वायर प्लस ए बी प्लस बी स्क्वायर दिस इज द फॉर्मूला ऑफ ए क्यूब माइनस बी क्यूब सो यूजिंग दिस फॉर्मूला हेयर एक्स क्यूब माइनस वाई क्यूब यूजिंग दिस फॉर्मूला हेयर वी कैन राइट एक्स क्यूब माइनस वाई क्यूब इज इक्वल टू एक्स माइनस वाई टाइम्स ए क्यूब दैट इज एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस एक्स वाई प्लस वाई स्क्वायर राइट इज इक्वल टू एक्स वाई प्लस सिक्सटी वन ना एक्स माइनस वाई टाइम्स वी कैन राइट दिस एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस वाई स्क्वायर प्लस एक्स वाई इज इक्वल टू एक्स वाई प्लस सिक्सटी वन राइट Now we can here do one thing that is x minus y, x minus y times x square plus y square, x minus y times x square plus y square. Now x minus y times x minus y times here we can write this plus x y times this plus x y times x minus y, right? Because mm. x y times x minus y because because this is multiplication term is equal to x y plus sixty one so we can write here x minus y times x square plus y square plus x y times x minus y is equal to sixty one plus x y now comparing this term because we know that x minus y times x square plus y square is equal to sixty one And x y times x minus y is equal to sixty y. So first we are comparing this one. X y times x minus y is equal to x y. Second term that is x y times x minus y is equal to x y. So x y x y. So we can cancel this one. So we can say x minus y is equal to one. Therefore we can write y is equal to x minus one. Right? Y is equal to x minus one. So this is the value of y. This is equation number one. Now x minus second term that is x minus y times x square plus y square is equal to sixty one. Second equation x minus y times x square plus y square is equal to sixty one. Right? Now x minus y value of y that is x minus one. So substituting this value here. This is equation number two. So we can write substitute equation one in equation two. Then we will get x times minus x minus y. That is value of y x minus one x minus one right times x square. X square plus y square, y is x minus one square, is equal to sixty one, right? Now, x minus x, right? X minus x plus one, and here x square plus x minus one, x square a square plus b square, that is plus one plus two ab minus 2x right is equal to 61. This is bracket close here, right? X minus x that is zero plus one, so it will become here one times x square plus. When we are opening this bracket, then x square minus 2x plus one is equal to 61. So we can write this. X square plus x square that is two x square minus two x plus one is equal to sixty one, right? Now, 
so we can do here one thing that is uh, when we are dividing with let's see here 2x square minus 2x this is plus 1 plus 1 minus 61 is equal to 0 we can write this way therefore 2x square minus 2x plus 1 minus 61 that is minus 60 is equal to 0 now dividing by 2 then x square minus x minus 30 is equal to 0 right now coefficient of x square a is equal to 1 here b is equal to minus 1 and c is equal to minus 30 so x is equal to we can write minus b plus minus b square square root of b square minus 4ac upon 2a right is equal to minus b minus b is minus 1 plus minus b square that is minus 1 square minus 4 a that is 1 times c that is minus 30 divided by 2 is equal to minus minus plus 1 plus minus 1 plus 3 for the 12 that is 120 right divided by 2 is equal to 1 plus minus square root of 121 divided by 2 now is equal to 1 plus minus square root of 121 that is 11 right so we can write this 11 11 divided by 2 so we got here two solution x is equal to 1 plus 11 divided by 2 and next one is this is uh, x1 we can say and x2 is equal to 1 minus 11 divided by 2 right and is equal to 1 plus uh, 11 that is 12 divided by 2 is equal to 6 so x1 is equal to 6 this is the value of x1 and here x2 is equal to minus 10 plus 1 that is minus uh, minus 11 plus uh, minus 11 plus 1 that is minus 10 here divided by 2 2 5 is a 10 minus 5 so we can say x2 is equal to minus 5 so we got here two value that is x1 is equal to 6 and x2 is equal to minus 5 now we have to find out the value of y is equal to x minus 1 right from equation 1 from equation 1 you can see here from equation y is equal to x minus 1 so we can find out here value of y y1 is equal to therefore y1 is equal to x1 minus 1 is equal to value of x1 that is 6 so 6 minus 1 y1 is equal to 6 uh, 6 minus 1 is equal to 5 so value of y1 is equal to 5 and value of y2 y2 is equal to x2 minus 1 value of y2 y2 is minus 5 so minus 5 minus 1 is equal to minus 5 minus 1 minus 6 y2 is equal to minus 6 so this is the value of y1 and y2 so we can say here x1 and y1 is equal to when x1 is 6 at that time y1 is 5 6 and 5 and same time x2 y2 is equal to when x2 is equal to minus 5 at that time y2 is equal to minus 6 so this is the value of x1 and y1 here this is the solution thank you